Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slatter. Hello and welcome to another Star Wars video. So, first of all, thank you guys so much for helping me reach 700,000 subscribers on YouTube. Saying that still just absolutely blows my mind. It's kind of funny, I was looking back the other day at some of my old live streams, and I still have one that I planned, but never actually carried out from back when I had just reached 500 subscribers. Crazy to me that that was just 2017, I started in about March of that year. Later in 2017, I quit my full-time job and moved to YouTube full-time, and ever since then, it's just been an amazing experience. Thanks, of course, to all of you guys. So with this milestone, I thought I'd give you guys an update on the question that I get asked the absolute most. Will there be another Battle of the Dreadnoughts? For those who don't know, Battle of the Dreadnoughts was an animation that I worked on with EC Henry. It was really fun to make, and it ended up performing pretty well. And I will say, Battle of the Dreadnoughts was a significant investment of money, but more than that, it was really a test. Should I invest more moving forward? Should I make a longer version with more effects? And by that I mean, should I hire somebody to bring this vision to life and help me make something really cool? And in the end, Battle of the Dreadnoughts has performed well enough that, yeah, I definitely want to make a sequel. It's not about money, because fan films and animation don't really make their money back. To be pragmatic, it was partially about making something that would help the channel out, and anytime you upload a video that gets millions of views, you know, that's good for your channel. It was also about making something that I could use to give back to you guys, and you guys responded so positively to Battle of the Dreadnoughts that, yeah, obviously I have to make another one. My sort of internal number for views to indicate interest was about 2 million. That was one that I saw a lot of fan films and animations reach, especially if they were at the quality that Battle of the Dreadnoughts was. And right now we're at about 2.9 million. By the end of the video's life, it'll probably hit four or five. So I'm super happy with that. So we will be making a Battle of the Dreadnoughts too. That's the good news. And what's more, I definitely want to put a lot more money into the next Battle of the Dreadnoughts. Ideally, we would make something that's over 10 minutes long, pure action with more effects because a lot of you guys asked, hey, how come there aren't as many lasers as we might be expecting? Why didn't we actually get to see what happened in the last shot? Well, that was purely down to money and time, but both of them were quite limited for this project. When it comes to Battle of the Dreadnoughts 2, I'll probably do some live streams to raise some money, or maybe I'll take all the sponsored money I earned for a certain period and put it towards that. Either way, I definitely want to take it to the next level. So all of that's the good news. What's the bad news? Well, the bad news is, unfortunately, there's no plans to start production anytime soon. Ideally, I would like to work with EC Henry again and maybe bring in some other artists to help lighten the load. However, he is very, very busy with one of his projects that he's currently working on, which is an amazing Star Trek fan film called The Pacific, which you guys should definitely check out. When he's done, depending on his schedule, maybe he'll be able to work on a Battle of the Dreadnoughts too, but maybe we'll need to work with somebody else. We're still very, very early on in the planning stages, but ideally I'd like to expand, as I mentioned, not only the scope of the video itself, but also the scope of the project, how many people are involved. Additionally, I'm not even sure what I want the next project to be about. Either we'll take the basics of Battle of the Dreadnoughts and bring it to a new situation. I've got some really cool ideas for opening shots, but not a whole lot besides that. The other option though is that we just straight up continue the first movie with a Battle of the Dreadnoughts 2. We can see what happens to the Eclipse and maybe another battle afterwards or something like that. Right now, to be honest, I'm leaning towards making something completely different. I just want to keep Battle of the Dreadnoughts maybe as a test, something that indicated that there was a greater interest in space battle animations on YouTube. But to be honest, a lot of this will come down to you guys, my viewers. What do you want to see? Do you think there's enough story left to be told in the original sort of plot that we should continue with that in video two? I say we, but I really just mean me and whoever joins the team. Or should we take the idea of making a super high quality space battle and maybe just move it to a different setting with new ships and whatever else? Anyway, I know this was a very vague update. I know you guys probably want more information, but I just wanted to let you all know where everything stands right now. 
there's definitely the will, it will happen at some point as well, but I'm not really sure of the specific road forward, but we'll figure it out, I'm very confident of that. In other channel news, I want to thank you guys again for your continual support, especially in the past couple of months, Star Wars is always in a total dead zone during the summer, you guys have probably noticed that I've been uploading a lot less, but you know, the views are still pretty good on my end, and that's all because I've got such a loyal core of viewers, and if I don't upload, you guys will usually just go watch one of my older videos, which, you know, thank you for that. We've talked about this before, but I've been focusing a lot of my time instead on focusing on X2, which is my second channel focused largely on Star Wars gaming. I know a lot of you aren't interested in that stuff at all. You know, you didn't subscribe to Eckhart's Ladder to hear about gaming news or to watch streams, so I'm not going to push this too much. I just want to thank you guys for being patient as my priorities have been slightly different just to take advantage of one channel having a lot of success while the other channel is just a bit quieter. For reference, X2 is at about a fourth or a third of Eckhart's Ladder's views, so really great and I'm super happy with that. In the coming months, now that a lot of you guys are back to school and work and as Star Wars interest naturally peaks in the winter, we'll shift back towards Eckhart's Ladder or I will, the team over at X2 will still continue doing all their stuff, as will I, but I'll try to get back to daily videos or at least five videos a week. That's, I think, a pretty healthy goal. One final thing that some of you know but some of you don't, my wife is also pregnant and our second child, a little baby girl, is due at the end of October. So that'll change things, but as with my first child, I'll really just try to get content prepared in advance and I'll probably take two weeks off and then slowly work my way back into uploading so you guys hopefully shouldn't notice too much of a difference. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this rambling slash state of the channel slash battle of the dreadnoughts 2 video. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I don't say that enough. You guys allow me to work from home and that sounds small but it's one of the greatest gifts that you can give a father because I work nights which means that I get to spend pretty much the entire day with my wife and son and not many dads get to do that especially after paternity leave or parental leave has expired so i'm just very fortunate and it's all because of you guys it means i don't get that much sleep but totally worth it anyway guys until next time please be safe i appreciate you all and may the force be with you